Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we'll be showing you a rear window regulator replacement on this 95 Accord sedan, same as any 94 to 97 sedan or uh, wagon. Tools you'll need are pretty straightforward. Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, putty knife and a rag or door panel clip tool and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and also help to have some painters tape or masking tape. Okay so we're going to start here by uh, removing the door panel. Um, pretty straightforward if you want to see this in regular motion just check out our other videos or you can probably pick up another here to realize how to get it off. Just a couple of screws and pull some clips. Once you have your door panel off you're going to want to remove uh, this bracket which is going to allow you to take your water shield off and as you can see somebody just pretty much just ripped through the water shield on this car. Uh, I don't recommend doing it because the water shield helps keep the water out of your car. Okay, but once you've gotten your uh, door panel off and the water shield removed, you need to at least be able to see these two bolts up here, this bolt, and these three bolts here. Okay, I'm somewhat lucky here because on my car, uh, the window works fine. Um, there are two holes up here on top, and then down in these holes you can see those are the bolts uh, that attach the window regulator to the window. Okay, if your window regulator is broken, this is the down position, so you should be able to push your window down to see those bolts, or you could push it up to see them through these holes and really there's probably enough room that no matter where they are you can get to those bolts with a wrench and so I'm going to remove those and they're 10 millimeter bolts you can see I put some blue painters tape up here and I'm going to show you what that's all about in a second first I'm going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts Okay, so with those bolts removed, what you can do is just take your window, slide it up, just put this tape on the outside, slide it right up, put the tape down, and now you can remove these two bolts, loosen this bolt, and loosen your three window motor bolts. Okay. And now the last thing before you remove the regulator is this is where your power window hooks in. So press this tab and pull that up and out. Okay. And you can reach up through here, push the window motor up and through. And then your regulator, out, out, and the assembly comes out through this hole. And installing the regulator. Now, obviously, I'm just my old. I'm just putting my old one back in because there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so you just insert it into the door, and you can reach through here. It along, okay, and then lift up on the rail here. You want to tilt the bottom towards the outside of the door so you can get the top up here. And there is your bolt right here to slide down and in, and now it's hanging up. Okay, and then reach down here and grab your motor. up into place. Okay. 
And now you can see these three bolts, they're in. Now slide them down into place. So you can put in this bolt here. down here and now we can tighten everything up and you want to make these tight but they don't have to be incredibly tight just enough with this small wrench and then our um, harness from the motor went through here and then plugged right in. So I have actually the key on and I have my switch plugged in here. Okay, and if you look down here, you can see the regulator. So you can see a regulator working. Test it out. And what you want to do is get it, um, your new regulator, right down here. So these holes are kind of on center. You can easily put the bolts in, and then what you're going to do is you take your window, and I just take my hand, push right against the window just to hold it in place until I'm ready. Okay, and then I grab it with both hands, and you want to keep it nice and steady, nice and straight. Okay, down to the regulator and you can see that the hole right there is right lined up okay and right there so I'll put those two bolts in okay and now our regulators in You know, who knew it could be that easy? So, I'm just going to unplug my power window switch here. And once I take this off, then I can put my water shield back on, which unfortunately this car doesn't have a water shield anymore. And then put the uh, door panel back together, and we're all set to go. Okay, we're just going to use a little fast motion here again to put the door panel back on. Uh, if you want to see this in regular speed, just check out our other videos for the door panel remove and replace. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.